Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by battery development company Alltech Batteries, ASX code ATC. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Managing Director of Alltech Batteries, Iggy Tan. Hi, Iggy. Hi, Matt. Okay, so Alltech is commercialising what it says is an alternative to lithium and vanadium batteries known as Serenergy batteries that, believe it or not, run on table variety salt instead of lithium. This week, Alltech tabled a lovely set of numbers in a definitive feasibility study on its Serenergy batteries. And Iggy, I want to get into those numbers in just a moment. But firstly, tell me, how exactly does this Serenergy battery work and what relative advantages does it have over lithium batteries? Well, Matt, you are correct. It just uses uh, common table salt and nickel metal powder. One of the biggest advantages is it's totally fireproof. It has nearly double the life of a lithium-ion battery and it operates in a very wide temperature range. And then finally, we don't use any critical minerals like lithium, copper, cobalt, graphite, and manganese. So you can see the advantages there. Okay, so you've done a feasibility study on these batteries. What exactly did you study? What were the parameters of the DFS and what project life did you use? Well, we designed a battery product that contains 18 of these 60 kilowatt battery packs into an open style C container, uh, which will produce one megawatt of power to your grid. And part of the feasibility study was to design the plan that can produce 120 of these grid packs per annum over 20 years. Okay, let's get into the numbers from that DFS with some rapid-fire questions and answers. Firstly, what's the capex required to build the plant? Well, the capex is uh, 156 million euros. And how long will it take you to pay that back? 3.7 years. And what's your predicted annual revenue from it? Uh, we should generate around 106 million euros per annum. And how much of that will be profit? Let's go with EBITDA. Well, the EBITDA generated uh, is around 51 million euros. Have you calculated a net present value for the project in today's money? Yes, the uh, net present value is 169 million euros. That equates to around 280 million Aussie dollars. Okay, now you've got a joint venture partner. I understand it's sort of a quasi-government organisation in Germany. What have they spent on this project to date? Yeah, the Fraunhofer Institute has developed this technology technology over eight years and they spent nearly 35 million euros. So this is not a research and development project. We're well underway to commercialising the technology. Okay, very quickly, have you done any work on the customer front? Who's a likely buyer and what will they do with them? Yes, we're doing a lot of work on uh, potential off-takers. We're talking to two uh, German utility companies that have moved towards renewable energy. And as you know, renewable energy, you need grid storage batteries so that you can convert the energy during the day to the night time, which is called energy shifting. Iggy Tan from Alltech Batteries, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears and remember, we're only here to give you information not advice, which you should of course seek independently. I'm Matt Burney and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB, 3AW and 4BC websites and click the Public Companies tab.